whoever manages stress and overcomes the anxiety they alone are the successful person the very important point is we are unable to understand our own body and we are trying to understand the entire society which is again there is a lack of uh, proper understanding about they themselves you need to feel you need to take your body as a temple your body itself is a temple whenever you are giving greater respect to your body greater respect to our your mental mental conditions obviously you will be a successful person in the future social isolation leads to to disasters social isolation is not the solution in fact social interaction is more more social interaction is required this is a great initiative taken by our vision ias where the wellness cell was introduced specifically for the students well being where they are unable to identify the stress signs also they are unable to overcome the stress this upsc wants to see you feel stress point number 1 whoever overcomes that one he is called as a leader and so upsc is searching the leaders the leadership qualities in you hello and welcome to this special conversational series of vision ias with our faculty today we will discuss a very important topic related to management of stress for upsc preparation and to discuss about it we have today an esteemed faculty of vision ias jay krishna sir welcome sir thank you mr kapil thanks sir, for inviting me sir before we dive into the topic can you tell our viewers what are the factors that has contributed to so much stress in the student for upsc preparation well mr kapil the stress right now in this modern world right now there is a heavy competition you take whatever the field it may be whether it may be the competitive field or maybe the market also there is a lot of competition in the market and so the stress is inevitable right now in this modern world when it comes to upsc the preparation itself is a, a very tedious preparation the preparation is a stretching for almost all one one and a half year the exam pattern itself is one and a half year and so the students feel stress anxiety and it is very very common whoever manages stress and overcomes the anxiety they alone are the successful person but right now in this scenario where the people right now because of the food habits because of not having the physical exercise not having the mental uh, consciousness and so the people are feeling more stress when it comes to upsc the people are really stressed out they need to properly manage this one and the people are neglecting this part and moreover there is no proper support from the other institutions nor from the parents where the parents are sending the kids and the people are keep on uh, doing a rat race stress has become so common in the present day life we need to address this one though it is a appears to be smaller problem but the a keen solution needs to be brought for this one sir some students are not able to identify that they are going through stress right so what are the signs that can help them identify okay i am in a stressful situation or i am going through this stress or anxiety this is the real problem is to kapil in fact the people who ever they are undergoing stress they don't know that they are in the stress and they feel like you know they are all uh, uh, feeling the same thing all other people are undergoing but that is not the one stress for each and every person is in a different way i will give one some uh, some few examples like you know stress signs can be of two types it can be physical as well as psychological also what is the physical where the people can identify to certain extent the physical stress whereas psychological stress the people are unable to identify they won't feel like yes they are undergoing the stress the physical stress like the people feels headaches chronic headaches day after day they will be getting the headaches also sometimes the students feels highly indigestion problem what is this indigestion problem the people feel like uh, the students uh, since i have eaten somewhere something and so it couldn't get digested and this is what the regular problem that is what the people feel but they can't, cannot identify that this is a stress even sometimes some of the people feel high nausea nausea feeling also these are all the physical signs where the stress 
he is uh, the people are undergoing the stress but there are some psychological signs are also there the psychological signs like unable to focus on the studies for a prolonged period maybe if a student commits to work continuously for one and a half hour maybe two hours of long study he may be concentrating only for few hours like maybe some half an hour 45 minutes then the fatigue develops that fatigue itself is a big sign of uh, psychological stress also not only this uh, fatigue development also sometimes the people get irritated reading the same topic again and again again unable to understand some of the some difficult topics are there where the people have to work more when they are reading more they get irritated more sleeplessness when the people go to bed after studying for so prolonged time period maybe 4 hours maybe 5 hours maybe sometimes 8 hours also when they go to the bed they are unable to get the sleep they may be sleeping in a lavish bed but the sleep won't be there these are all the psychological signs of the stress sir once a student has identified these signs so what according to you are effective ways or measures that person can take to manage the stress levels there are good number of suggestions given by psychologists psychiatrists even the medical related personalities but the thing is the people are unable to follow these small techniques if you can concentrate on your body like you know what is happening inside your body where it is called as inner inner engineering the very important point is we are unable to understand our own body and we are trying to understand the entire society which is again there is a lack of uh, proper understanding about they themselves once you are having the greater understandability about your body what is happening yesterday i was not like this one today i am like this one what change it has developed why the change is there such a introspection inside the one is very very important what one has to do in order to get through this uh, signs as you question like you know once they identify that signs are there maybe the physical sign or maybe the psychological sign what they have to do the very best doctor is the exercise physical exercise is the very best best way to de stress in fact it is called as the stress burst stress buster meaning what if you go for a brisk walk or maybe if at all you are playing a volleyball or maybe basketball basketball or simply if at all you are not having any company you can go for a jogging a small jogging for just half an hour will release endorphin in the body and so this endorphin can release the stress in the body and the people can concentrate for longer duration the people will be having good sleep and the proper diet also helps in this one these are the important techniques one has to do one is going for physical exercise taking regular breaks breaks in the studies the third one is called as having a nutritious diet right now the students are forced to eat the junk food that is available in the market as the people came from different parts of india and they are staying here in delhi in these areas and the food is not so hygiene the nutritious values are very low whenever you are taking proper care not only physically and also whatever you are eating if you are conscious about what you are eating then you can get release of this stress and one point i would specifically convey to the students you are the young people don't indulge into such habits which can degrade your health you just refrain from the bad habits whenever you are refraining from the bad habits then you are becoming close to success keep this in point this is a very very good point you need to feel you need to take your body as a temple your body itself is a temple whenever you are giving greater respect to your body greater respect to our your melton mental conditions obviously you will be a successful person in the future but sir there comes a point where people find it difficult managing this stress and anxiety by themselves and then there comes the need of professional help and vision ias is now also helping professionally 
uh, students re related to managing stress and anxiety. So can you throw some light about this initiative of Vision IAS? This is a great initiative taken by our Vision IAS where the wellness cell was introduced specifically for the students well-being where they are unable to identify the stress signs also they are unable to overcome the stress and because of this one then external factor is necessary that external factor has been identified by vision is and brought a very great initiative called as the wellness cell where the students of vision is they are asked to come to those trained psychologists there are good number of psychologists we have engaged where the people whenever they feel they are unable to manage their stress by they themselves even though whatever i have given like you know they even though they are going for physical exercise even though they are having the proper diet yet the people sometimes they feel like you know they are unable to overcome the stress then definitely the people whatever the students i students of vision is are right now doing like you know they are approaching the psychologist where the trained psychologists are there will be giving suggestions the psychologists are giving the suggestions which are tailor made to the specific purpose specific person will be having specific criteria and also the solution should be specific in nature and so the tailor made solutions are being brought by the psychologist in our vision is seeing the stress conditions in the market like you know in the entire right now the upsc market is flooded with such a great competition and so the people whoever they are preparing for the upsc exam irrespective of our just not our vision is we have extended the support as a social responsibility we extended our program our strategy where we started this well being like student well being in the form of student wellness cell in the vision is way back in the april 2024 itself but we have seen the market where good number of students are undergoing stress and so we feel like this is a social responsibility and right now we have initiated a greater program whoever is the aspirant irrespective of the institution irrespective of the whether they are enrolled in institutions or not some of the students are just coming for the sake of the study halls and also see the uh, the peer conditions that are there and also to get access to the question papers they are not getting enrolled in any institution even for those people what is the only criteria the only criteria is he has to prepare for upsc whoever is preparing for upsc very seriously and they are having very great stress you can just approach vision is get enrolled in the wellness cell then our psychologist can attain you they will be giving a time slot you can come and meet you can get uh, your queries answered and the best part is according to your requirement whether you require uh, some techniques like maybe cognitive behavioral technique some of the techniques are really uh, highly helpful for the students where the normal students because of not having accessibility affordability and so they are unable to go through all these things now vision has taken the initiative to go for sub, um, demanding the needs of the market and so it is kept open right now any student whoever is aspirant of upsc is if he is having any problem you just approach the vision is management get enrolled like you know tell that enroll means what you need not to give any things like you know commitments or something you just say that this is the problem you are undergoing uh, with respect to your studies psychologist will be attaining your problem that is what the greater initiative according to me and sir as you rightly pointed out there it is always better to seek help when you yourself are not able to cater the issue now coming back to the techniques and methods that you talked about related to stress management sir there is one myth associated with upsc preparation and it is that you need to get socially isolated cut off from friends family and this also adds to the stress level so how, what is the importance of social interaction for managing stress this is uh, as you really pointed out you know it's a myth <laughs> but the people feel like you know as it is uh, india's higher difficult exam these are all the myths india's difficult exam most uh, powerful exam this is 
another exam as uh, all other competitive exams whenever you are feeling like you know this is what the difficult exam where you need to get isolated like just like you know whenever you want to do something you need to be just like a rishi maharshi you need to isolate and go to himalayas and do tapas and no it's not like that in fact what type of service we need to enter into we need to enter into such service which can cater the needs of the general society whenever you are cutting off yourself from the general society how can you understand the society you when you want to manage the society when you want to cater the needs of the society you should be knowing more about the society whenever you are getting isolated and you are closing yourself in a, in between four walls of a room and you are not speaking to anyone how can you can be a good leader what upsc is about it is searching for the leaders all the aspirants they feel like you know if i read history if i read polity if i read economy if i read geography i may become a collector no it's not what upsc is searching for the leadership qualities in you in order to search those leadership quality there must be some medium what is that medium nothing but the syllabus in the syllabus they have given some history some geography and polity and all these things and through that medium where the upsc wants to search whether you are having those leadership qualities or not once you are having that qualities definitely you will be taken in it's not by hearting the entire syllabus right from akbar to aurangzeb it's not in fact the people are moving in a different track they are unable to understand the real essence of upsc through the medium of the subjects upsc want to assess whether the people are possessing the leadership qualities in the adverse conditions what is your behavior whether you can behave in a intellectual way or as a matured personality whether you can stand withstand the situation or will be busting out in order to search in order to uh, what is called as in order to test very deeply upsc has given such a structured exam like first of all it is objective type paper which is called as preliminary part then it is a descriptive paper when you have been tested objectively when you are tested descriptively why again upsc wants to see you called as personality test it wants to assess you at it and every situation whether you are having a greater capacity to take a decision whether you are having the patience to write for number of pages whether you are having the patience to explain the people uh, elaborately these are the the stages where upsc is checking you testing you whenever you are unable to get through all these stages you are simply unfit and so upsc is testing at each and every level and so it is creating some sort of stress whoever manages that stress will be there in the service that is what the logic of upsc and if at all you are getting isolated no point in getting isolated if you are really getting isolated you didn't understand upsc at all and mind you one thing i am i want to make it very clear more you are socially in association socially inclusive you need to speak with all the people surrounding you you need to interact with everyone maybe the youngster uh, the fresher who is coming to the upsc field you need to interact you need to give some solutions you need to interact with those veterans also there are certain people who are preparing for more than 5 6 years they are called as veterans right when there are veterans are there you need to go and you need to talk to those people social isolation leads to to disasters social isolation is not the solution in fact social interaction is more more social interaction is required before we end this session any final word of wisdom for our students that can help them in managing their stress i would like to give some suggestions regarding the stress management point number 1 is upsc wants to see you feel stress point number 1 whoever overcomes that one he is called as a leader and so upsc is searching the leaders the leadership qualities in you when it is searching the leadership qualities in you in you to exhibit that is entirely the first statement the second statement after identifying that yes i am really undergoing stress first of all you need to identify that yes you are undergoing stress once you identify if you can't identify like you know if there is no stress well and good if you feel like yes i am undergoing stress 
first of all you need to identify once you identify you need to come out with a solution on your own what are the solutions just like uh, just now i have given like one is a physical solution one is a mental solution what is a physical solution go for a jogging go for a running or even for a brisk walk if at all you don't want to run in fact at this age you need to run for kilometers together you need to jog every day whenever you are jogging you know running the physical exercise is very very important go and play the some of the games in the evening in the evening time then you will be releasing your stress the third one is you need to interact with the people the more you interact go and talk to those people who are the elderly people because they are having a rich experience you ask about their life experiences they will explain you more you can get one clue or the other clue from these experienced people and you can quote that one as an example in your upsc mains paper this is the the third one the fourth one what you can do is one is exercise another one is the social interaction the third one is uh, uh, what you can do is uh, you need to meditate that is what called as controlling of mind over body meditation you feel like you know the mindful meditation is not simply uh, sitting calm at one place you need to introspect inside your body if you are taking a deep breath when you take a deep breath and hold for just 1 2 seconds what happens the oxygen levels enter into your brain the brain cells will get relaxed and the stress will be automatically get reduced if you can't do all these things if you can't manage the stress on your own you can consult vision is where the trained professionals are there you can consult and you can get a tailor made solutions and the best part in this uh, talk is i am having greater opportunity to explain the students like uh, whoever is having the stress right now you can go for jogging you can go for running the second one is do meditation the third one is sleep properly you uh, what i have observed in the students is the people are not sleeping at all they feel like you know out of 24 hours i need to work for 20 hours who said that you need to read 24 hours no whenever you are having a sound sleep the sound sleep and the sound body is very much needed for the success if the sound sleep is not there what type of study you can do you cannot focus on the study where you need to and uh, when you need to study for minimum of 5 6 hours every day if you are not having the proper sleep how can you study you maybe you may eat a little low but little sleep it should not be there you may get compromise in the uh, in the eating part but not in the sleeping part you need to sleep perfectly a minimum of 6 to 8 hours of sleep should be there whenever the sound sleep is there then only the mind can become relax proper diet is again very important you need to have a nutritious diet don't get indulged into such type of habits which degrade your health right maybe in a shorter run they may be giving some pleasure to you but in the longer run it will take your life out so be very cautious regarding the habits right thank you so much sir for guiding our experience so experience i hope now you have a good idea how you need to manage this stress that you are undergoing while preparing and if you need professional help regarding it do contact us as student wellness cell vision is thank you